Sam, how long does it take for my Squarespace website to go live? And sometimes, a lot of the time when someone asks me, oh, how long does it take? I'll say, well, how long is a piece of string? But on this occasion, there is actually a definitive answer. So there's two things that we need to take into account. One, how long the hosting takes to go live. And two, how long does the domain take to go live? And so I'm going to quickly run you over to the screen and we'll go through it. Let's say this is your website, you've finished it, you're really happy and you want to get it live. What do we need to do? What are the next steps? How long is it going to take? First off, what we need to do is go into settings and then navigate to billing. And then we're going to go into subscriptions here. Then what you need to do is click on website and then upgrade. Here you can choose from your personal, business, commerce, basic or commerce advanced plans. Most non-commerce websites will do best on a business plan. So you'll click on this, you'll either pay annually or pay monthly, confirm your selection, drop your details in here, check that everything's okay here, save and continue. It's going to prompt you to put in your payment details, you're going to review it, you're going to go live. That is instant. So there's no waiting period for a website to go live. That's it. Now, sometimes I found this with clients when they have previously had their website password protected whilst it's been in the building phase, sometimes it doesn't go live straight away. So what we need to do in that instance is go to website and then we're going to go to site availability. And then once it's upgraded, so once you've actually got your hosting plan in place, just click on public and then it's done. That's it. Now, there's two parts to this. It's the subscription, which is this, and then there's the domain. So if you have a custom domain, what you're going to have to do is go to domains and email. Then you're going to click on domains and then you're going to use a domain that you own. So just plug in your domain, go through those steps. I've got a video on this. Go and check it out on the channel. Go through the steps and then sometimes that can be as easy as just signing into GoDaddy and it automatically does it. Or you can change the name servers or you can change the DNS records. Either or. Anyway, that propagation process can take up to 72 hours. So for the most part, what you'll see is the SSL certificate not having been issued properly by Squarespace. That's because the SSL certificate can take up to 72 hours, as I said. So in terms of getting the entire website live, if you go all through Squarespace, it's, it's in instant. So if you have this, get a domain, and then you buy a domain through Squarespace, I'm pretty sure that's instant. If you want to use your own, domain from another supplier let's say GoDaddy or whatever it is then it can take up to 72 hours in my experience if you check back in maybe two hours sometimes the SSL certificate will be up and the website's ready so 72 hours is a worst case scenario it should never go on longer than that if it does contact Squarespace support they've got a really good live chat function but as I say in my experience it's almost instant give it a few hours and then your site will be live so to recap if you go all through squarespace so hosting which you have to do anyway and domain it's instant the site goes live instantly if you go with squarespace hosting and then a domain that you own externally through a different provider then the hosting will be live straight away but the whole website so the two parts that will take up to 72 hours Hopefully that was useful. Hopefully it all makes sense. If you did find it useful, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.